hi all and welcome back so in today's tutorial we'll be focusing on one of the use case okay which i i was working on a couple of days back so you must have seen a scenario or in your organization that you get annoyed when a people when when a client create changes on the weekend right so today's tutorial we will be working on the same so we will restrict the user from creating any change on the weekends because we don't want to work on weekends you can consider so in today's tutorial we can see uh, how we can restrict it out okay how we can throw some error message okay and um avoid uh, users from creating the change request on the weekends okay so it's pretty simple use case and you can just um extend the scope of this use case okay in your day to day activities okay based on your project requirements so let's get started so for this we will be going to change request list and what we we are planning to do is like we don't want user to select plan start day or on weekend we don't want them to plan anything on weekends okay so what i will be doing over here let's open a normal change okay this one for an instance which is a new state so whenever users try to go to schedule so going try to go to schedule and try to select the plan start date okay if it selects weekends then we want to give them some error okay so for this let's get started so what we'll be doing first of all we'll create a scripting tool where we will validate these things out okay so i will go to scripting tool and in system definition i will open it in new tab this is a scripting tool and we will create a new one Okay. As we will be doing this validation on the on the server side, on uh, sorry, on the client side. So let's let's add something out. Okay, well, let's make it client callable. So let's give it a name first. So let's give it a name. We will give week day validation. week the validation will make it a client callable and uh, here we'll define the function so let's take a function um, let's consider function um is so uh, let's give the function name as is it a weekday is it a week t okay so that we will get that what exactly is in day my keyboard got screwed and we will give it function and as it's a uh, as we will be using this function in the client ajax right as it's a client callable script include so we will not be getting the parameters via as an input parameter to the function but we will be just grabbing it for, from the get parameters kind of thing okay so while, what will be a variable plan started plan started equal to this dot get parameter So this will be the parameter which will be passing from the front end side okay let's give the parameter and what we will be passing we will be passing a date so let's make it generic we will give it as this param let's put date okay so we got a date for the function now what we will be doing we will convert into glide date time object so what will we do variable date 
equal to new write date time and we'll pass that selected date over here okay so it will be plan started okay now the next step is like we got the glide date time object now we have to see if this glide date time is falls on a weekday or weekend okay so as we know we have a function called get day of week local time okay so we'll be using that function out so if date dot get date sorry get day of week oh, of week local time because I want to consider all the scenarios with respect to my local time okay and we'll give so how exactly it goes in service now instance when you use this function if it's a Monday it will be considered as 1 if it's a Sunday it's considered as 7 so Tuesday will be 2 Wednesday will be 3 and so on so what we can do we want to exclude Saturday and Sunday that means we want to exclude 6 and 7 so we can give condition if the weekday is greater than 5 okay that means if it's weekend then what we have to do we will return true okay else always give else okay so else will give we will return false not false false okay done so this is all we have to do on the script include side okay so I will just save it out and then let's go back to a change form and now we will be creating an on change client script okay because whenever the change uh, the date get changed we want to uh, we want to perform this validations right so i'll just go to configure and configure we'll go to the client script yeah leave and in client script we'll create a new client script and we'll give it a name as validate start date it makes sense we'll give it type as on change which particular field so we want to perform it with respect to plan start date right because we don't want them to schedule change request on the plan on the weekend right? plan and now we'll start writing our code so first and the foremost thing we'll be writing glide ajax over here so what we'll be doing variable glide ajax change equal to new glide ajax and here we have to pass the script include name which we'll be calling so the script include name is week the validation so we'll copy it out and we'll paste it over here done now the next step is to pass which function we'll be calling because a script can have multiple functions out right so the next step is like ga glide aggregate uh, glide as exchange dot add param and what the second attribute will be the function which function we want to call and it gets signified with the name called sys param underscore name and which function we are calling over here I don't remember so we are calling this particular function which is is it a weekday 
so we'll give it this function over here is it a weekday now the third thing what we have to do is to pass the value of the start date right then only the validation will happen right so for that we can again go with g a j dot add param and that param will be uh, what this time what attribute we have passed over there so we will get this one this is param date go here paste it out and now this particular value is in the new value right because we have written on change kind of thing so we can simply use new value no use no need to use g form and all those things out done now we can get the response now it will go to the server side with this attributes okay and it will get the response so we let's get the response and how we can get the response the variable response equal to change dot get xml answer and in this we have to give the name of the callback function so we can give pass callback and i will just copy this out now we will be writing the definition for this function so it will be function pass callback and it will have input as answer because this is the function where the um, server side answer will get pulled okay and over here we can give if the answer is true that means if it's falling on weekend so we can give if answer equal to equal to true if it falls on weekend then we just want to give an error message how exactly we can give the error message it will be g underscore form dot form dot show field message because i want to show it on the field okay then now it asks for which particular field right so i don't i also don't remember what is the name of the field so what we can do i'll go over here go to history change request let's open this out tab tab Mm -hmm. start underscore date can go tab and we can give start underscore date this is the field where we want to display the message what should be the message okay so we will say hey we are on leave please land on weekday okay and just to make it interesting just to make it as a like warning okay we can give it as time as error and true so we are done with the logic over here we'll simply simply save it out now so i'll save and now as you know whenever you write a client side thing you should refresh your record so that it will start reflecting it out and if i reload the form okay so if i select some valid date okay some week date date let's see what happened so i will select 25th okay it's fine everything is fine right now now if i go and select 28 here he we are on leave please plan on weekdays you can also clear this value if you want okay but this is how 
I've done at this particular point of time. Okay, because we just want to give the warning message. The warning message is different in our case. Okay, but just to make it some interest thing. Okay, I just twisted my logics out. Okay, so this is all for today's tutorial. Hope you like it out. In today's tutorial, we have seen how we can use Glide Ajax to validate DDNM field. Okay, and we have just explored one. In a glad daytime api okay and in that also we have explored a function called get day of week local time okay so local time or utc you can use both okay so this is all for today's tutorial hope you like it out if if that's turned out to be true okay then please subscribe to my channel so you will be getting updates on my new videos till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day ahead thank you